Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Juliet and you have joined me here today at Spoilt Russian Beads where I am going to show you how to make this beautiful forever bracelet. It uses a new Kos Parpuka beads and was designed by the French designer Puka. It's really pretty as I think you can see we've got some beautiful golds and purples going on here in this colorway. But do have a go at making your own colorway for this beautiful bracelet. Don't forget to download the pattern before you start from our website www.spoiltrussianbeads.co.uk You can download this pattern for free, it's an instant download so do that, do, do that before you get started at beading. And all of the beads and components that you see in this video tutorial you will find over on our website www.spoiltrussianbeads.co.uk So do head on over there and if you're watching this video from outside of the United Kingdom then don't worry because we will ship to you all over the world okay let's get me okay so to make this beautiful forever bracelet you're going to need the following beads you're going to need some of the brand new Kos Parpuka beads that I've got here they're beautiful sort of half moon half circle shape with two holes that run right through the middle of the bead that I think you can see there and then you're also going to need some of the Arcos Parpuka beads they're from the same range these are both from the Parpuka range of beads. And the Parpuka range of bead shapes are designed by a lovely French lady called Puka. And all of the bead shapes fit beautifully together. They work really well together because the positioning of the holes is just right. So you can use them together, which is exactly what we're going to do today with this forever bracelet. Then you're going to need some three millimeter faceted beads. And I'm using some three millimeter fire polish beads here. You're going to need two four millimeter beads and I'm using two four millimeter Preciosa pearls in one of the new iridescent shades, which are very pretty and they work really nicely with the colors that I've chosen here. And then you're gonna need some seed beads. So I've chosen lovely galvanized champagne in a size 15, a size 11 and a size eight. And you're going to need some fire line and a size 10 beading needle. And then of course, you're also going to need something to put around the back of your bracelet to fasten it. And in her pattern, Puka suggests, if I just bring the pattern in here, Puka suggests using some suede cord and a large hole bead, which does look really, really pretty. But we have just got in these really clever little sliding clasps here, which allow you to sort of adjust the length of the bracelet. And they're very nice and secure they've got a jump ring on either end and I think they're going to look really good on this beautiful forever bracelet so that's what I'm going to use to finish off my bracelet so don't forget to download the pattern from our website www.spoiltrottenbeads.co.uk before you begin beading because it's got really nice easy to follow instructions nice photographs there that you can bead along with so do download that pattern before you get beading. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to make this beautiful forever bracelet, we're gonna start off with one of the elements that sits on the edge of the bracelet. So if I just bring the pattern over so you guys can see, we're gonna start off with one of these elements here, um, and then we'll move on to the next element and we'll join it all together a little bit later on. So to do this, I'm gonna start off by picking up two of my cos beads and if I just nest them together like so you'll see that they fit together like a circle and I can just thread on those two beads like so then pick up a 15 and then repeat that process so picking up two more of my cos beads making sure that they nest together properly and then pick up a 15 followed by another of my cos beads and then another cos bead and finally finish up with another size 15 bead like so. I'm going to take that all down towards the tail of my thread and what I'm going to do is just tie a little knot in my tail of my thread and just so that I pull everything together to sit around in a circle like so. I'm just going to a double knot now just to make sure that that is nice and secure pull that tight there we go and I'm now going to step through 
the first two cost beads and actually the first size 15 that I get to in the circle. One step through that size 15 there. And what that will have done is pulled those knots that I just made inside those cost beads and then later on I'll be able to cut off my tail of thread. So now what I'm going to do is pick up two more size 15 seed beads and step up through the empty holes in the next two cost beads in the pattern. The cost beads, the seed beads will sit around the edge of the cost bead like that. And I'm going to continue around doing the same thing. So I've picked up two size 15s and I'm now going to go through that size 15 that sits between the next two sets of cost beads. There you see. And then I need another two size 15 beads and up through the empty holes in these two cost beads. There we go. And one more time, two 15s and down through the 15 that sits between the sets of cost beads. And one more time, two 15s and through the cost beads. Nearly there now and two 15s and finally down through the cost bead, sorry, down through the 15 and then the two 15s I threaded on at the beginning of this project. So if I let you guys take a look at that now, you'll see that I'm exiting from the first set of two 15s that I added and what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to snip off my tail of thread because I don't need that anymore and it's just getting in my way. So I'm exiting here on the top of um, my little cost beads here from the 15s and I'm now ready to bring the arcos into the pattern. So to do that I'm going to pick up a size 15 seed bead and if I just turn the arco on its side. If you've not used be these beads before, you'll see that they've got three holes across them and I'm going to be threading through one of the end holes in the concave side of the bead. And you see what that will do is make it nest nicely around those cost beads there. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to pick up six Size 15 beads, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, and go through that other hole, the opposite hole in the Arco bead. And sometimes you get a little pesky size 15 like I have there that does not want to go through a size 10 needle. But rather than switch my needle down, just taken the bead off and popped another one on. So I've got six size 15 seed beads. I like to use a size 10 needle because they're much easier to work with. Okay, there we go, my work has flipped around. Let me, there we go. So I've got my six size 15s across the top of my Arco bead now. Come out of my Arco bead and I'm gonna pick up one more size 15 bead. And then I'm gonna work through all five of these size 15 beads here. So I poke out of the top here of this size 15 and I repeat this process for the other two sets of cost beads. So I'm gonna come back to you when I have done that. Okay, so you can see I've finished embellishing my cost beads here and that's actually all I need to do with this element, but I need two of these to make my bracelet. So if I just bring the pattern back in, you'll see you've got one of these elements either side of the bracelet there. So I'm going to repeat everything and I am going to make one more of those pretty elements. And then I'm going to come back to you and show you how to make the center and then how to embellish it all and put it all together. Okay, so I've made my first two elements and I now need to make my central element. And if I just bring back the pattern so you guys can see, it's actually exactly the same as the first two small elements that I made, but just with um, four sets of cost beads this time. So I'm going to crack on with that. 
Um, so it's exactly the same as we did before. I'm going to start off by picking up two cost beads and then a size 15 seed bead and two more cost beads, size 15 seed bead, two more cost beads, a size 15 seed bead, two more cost beads, whoopsie, I lost that guy, and one more size 15 seed bead. So if I pop that down, you'll see it looks just like that there. So it is exactly the same as we did for the other um, for the other elements. So I'm going to come back to you when I've strung all these together in the circle and I start embellishing them with the size 15 seed beads um, in exactly the same way as we did for those um, first two elements. Okay, so I have finished embellishing my central element for my forever bracelet and I'm now exiting from one of the sets of six size 15 C beads on the edge of my central element and I'm ready to start embellishing and joining things together now. So what I'm going to do is I pick up a size 11 seed bead followed by a three millimeter faceted bead, one of my two four millimeter pearls, another three millimeter faceted bead and another size 11 seed bead. And I am gonna stitch across through the next set of six size 15 seed beads on the element, like so. And I'm gonna exit from these guys here. I'll get my fingers out of the way so you guys can see in a moment. There you go. So there we are. So now what I'm going to do is stitch down through the arco bead here and I am going to exit through the arco and then through the next size 15 seed bead that I get to. So I'm just the, the very first size 15 seed bead after that arco is where I'm exiting from and I now can pick up another so three millimeter faceted bead and I'm going to hop across and go through the last seed bead here and the arco bead so there we go through the last seed bead and the arco bead there if I pull that tight you'll see that lovely sparkly faceted bead sits just nice and neatly there in the gap there. So I'm going to repeat that process. So I'm going to step through all six of these size 15 beads and I'm going to do exactly the same on this side of the piece as I did on the other side of the piece. So it's a size 11 bead, a 3 mil faceted bead, a 4 mil pearl, a 3 mil faceted bead and another size 11 seed bead there. And then once more through all six of the next set of size 15s on the top of an arco bead there. Okay, so I'm going to now step through this arco bead and the next size 15 seed bead that I get to. And I'm going to pop in another three millimeter bead on the edge of my work there. Got to find a way in there we go and come out, exit through the top here of the next arco bead. I'll let you guys take a look at that. It's looking really pretty already. So, okay, so I'm going to stitch all the way through these beads here now and exiting from this second three millimeter fire polish bead here. And I can start to think about joining this central piece together with the two side elements that we made right at the beginning there we go so i'm exiting from this fire polish bead here and i'm going to bring back in one of my lovely little side elements here and what i'm going to do is pick up two size 11 seed beads 
and I'm going to I'm going to stitch through I'm going to stitch through six of the size 15 seed beads on the edge of my element it doesn't really matter which six it's all going to work in the end like so so that's going to sit like that on the edge of my piece there we go so i'm ready now to start embellishing the edge so i'm going here. to embellish the edge of this side component in the same way that we did with the central piece by stitching down through the arco bead and the next size 15 seed bead that i get to and then of course i am going to pick up a three millimeter faceted bead and step through the step through the last size 15 seed bead and arco bead on the edge of my piece there pull it all tight let you guys take a look at how that is looking now there you go so i am now going to stitch through and i'm actually going to stitch through the first two size 15 beads here and I'm and then through the middle two size 15 seed beads here because I'm ready to just add a little what's going to be the loop that I'm going to use to attach my lovely slider chain to my piece when I've finished so in order to do that I am going to pick up some two size 15 seed beads so I need to grab myself a couple more size 15s here so I'm going to pick up two size 15 seed beads and then one of my size 8 seed beads followed by two more size 15s and I am going to stitch through the two central size 15 seed beads that I'm exiting and then the next two size 15 seed beads and if I pull that round you'll see I get this little loop here on the end of my piece which I'm going to use later on to attach to my sliding clasp but for right now I just need to finish off embellishing the side of this piece so I'm going to stitch down through the arco and the next size 15 that I get to there we go pick up a three millimeter faceted bead and stitch through the next size 15 arco bead there pull that tight you see it's looking really pretty i can now stitch through the six size 15 seed beads that are on the e edge of that next arco bead and you'll see if i pull this tight get my fingers out the way i am now ready to join on the other side of the central piece so to do that i'm going to pick up two size 11 beads and stitch through the three mil bead on the edge the three mil fasted bead there on the edge of my on the edge of my central element and pull that tight you guys can see that now so that's how you join the elements together so what i'm going to do is i am going to work through my piece here till i get to exit from this th three millimeter fire polish bead here and i'm going to join on the other element to the other side of my piece in exactly the same way when I've done that, I'm going to come back to you and I will have finished off my thread and I'm just going to show you how to attach your sliding clasp to your lovely forever bracelet and we'll all be done. The last thing you need to do before you start, um, before you add your slider clasp is to just go through your various elements and on the edges where you haven't added a three millimeter uh, fire polish bead you just need to go and do that just in the same way that you did around the other edges of your piece you just need to pick up a three mil fire polish bead and just add that in and you'll find that this will make everything sit much better together um, so I am that's what exactly what I'm doing here I'm just adding in a three mil fire polish bead here just on these corners it's actually just down the center of the piece that you need to do that. So again, I'm just going to finish off adding my 3mm fire polish beads here. 
and here and then I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to show you how to attach your slider clasp. Okay, so I finished my beautiful forever element here on my bracelet. I've already attached one side of my slider clasp and I'm just going to demonstrate for you on the other side how to attach it. So I've got a little five millimeter open jump ring here. Oopsie, here we go. Little five millimeter open jump ring. I'm just gonna twist this to the side to open it out like so. And then I can slip that through my size eight seed bead. Easier said than done sometimes. My little jump rings just pinged off here. Here we go, slip that through the size eight jump ring and this is where you begin to wish that you didn't have such a tight beading tension because I have a very tight beading tension when I bead and that now makes it tricky for me to get my jump ring through my end bead here. It will go but it's just a little bit of a wiggle to get it into that bead there because I've got my size 15s right up against it. There we go, I'm in. There we go. I'm in the bead, I've just got to twist it around and out the other side. There we are. So through that size 8 seed bead there, I can now slip on the ring on the end of my slider clasp and close up my jump ring. And there is my beautiful forever bracelet with my nice slider clasp it's really pretty design so i do hope you have enjoyed watching this video and um, have a go at making one of these yourselves do download the free pattern from our website www.spoiltrottenbeads.co.uk and make yourself a beautiful forever bracelet okay thank you very much for watching guys please check back soon for more inspiration bye bye